Paul, yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. Now, um, I had made an error this morning. Yes, I had said I-9 <laughs> instead of the W-9. Yesterday we were talking about um, how the W-9, yes, identifies what is known as a person. Yeah. But then mm -hmm, I found out the I-9 also has the identity of a person and the eligibility for employment. <laughs> And I was a little upset about it because it looks like you have to have a valid driver's license to be able to be employed. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I had talked to you about the driver's license and the changing of the information on it. Yes. And I didn't get any emails. Uh, no one actually emailed me uh, about any of the information that I have emailed to law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems to me that law enforcement is intentionally obstructing my right to employment as well as being an employer. Yes. And when I thought of myself as a person, uh, according to what the Internal Revenue Service considers me as, I wondered if uh, Homeland Security considers me a person. Oh, could, you, could you call Homeland Security <coughs> every employee of Homeland Security? See, uh, there's the possibility, yes, I just found this out this afternoon, that uh, Edward Budnick, my deceased grandfather, yes, that had lived in Waipaya, mm -hmm, Yuma, Arizona, uh, had died, and his son, Edward Jr., mm -hmm, probated the estate, um, and he had multiple properties, had four different properties, yeah. Went down there in 1973. I was three years old, approximate age. <laughs> and he bought himself a place, and two of the properties had wells on them. Yes. Now, I don't know if the new owners, after the time of his death, had actually done any sort of research on, it, on the actual depth of the wells that were owned. Yes. But it looked to me like um, it really was this type of property that it was a bunch of desert land. <laughs> Out there in Arizona. Yes. Now, uh, just looking at lot 18, mm -hmm. lot 50, um, uh, I thought it was real good that he bought himself a place. Yes. But it said he was an unmarried man. Oh, Edward Budneck, unmarried. <laughs> and I thought, well, my grandma Clara Budneck never changed her name from... Clara Budnick to Clara Holse, her maiden name, and she was a, a graduate of Roosevelt High School in Clallam County. Now, I'm really concerned because when I searched in the state of Washington for their actual divorce mm -hmm. application and uh, their marriage certificate and all of that, there is no possible way that my grandma Budnick, yes, just decided to call herself Clara Budnick back in, well, it could have been well, in the 40s or 50s, depending on when my father, Paul Douglas Budnick, was born. <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of mean, yes, to not have a marriage license and application. <laughs> I told you about the fraudulent issuance of my own biological parents' marriage certificate. Yes, mm -hmm. or they said they were 18 and they were 17. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> I had emailed you the documentation of their actual ages at the time that they had falsified their <laughs> marriage application in the Kitsap County. Yes. <laughs> uh, license for marriage uh, before I was born and they were 17 when I was born. Yes. Now, just so that I understand this unmarried man named Ed Budnick. Yes. When searching on Ancestry, as well as the Washington State website and numerous other Googling, yes, I don't find a marriage uh, certificate or application for Clara Budnick and uh, for Ed Budnick. Now, um, 
It looks like, okay, Lot 18, Valley High, will pay out Meadows Edition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lot 50. Oh, oh, oh. But there's what's known as, except all coal and other minerals are reserved in the United States mm -hmm. in the patent of the said land. Now, let's say you, you had some minerals. Yes. They happen to be in a well. Yes. And the well obviously wasn't there at the time, or maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> But as you dig down into a well, is there any aquifer underneath any of the properties that Edward Budnick had ownership of in 1973? <laughs> now, I know a lot of you, okay, you're all upset at me because I'm wanting to know, yes, why it was that Paul Douglas Budnick yes. was not included in the estate. And see this lot, 18 Valley High? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> lot 50. Um, but there's what's coal and other minerals. Yes. Now, is there any minerals in the water of the state of Arizona that are protected by patent that you're not allowed to? You can have the water, but you can't have the minerals. Could you give me all the patents of the actual land in the state of Arizona? <laughs>